Hola y bienvenidos. Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Holly Brown. Me llamo Holly Brown. And I teach Spanish at Bard High School Early College, Queens. Today, we're going to talk to you a little bit about our department. That is the Department of Modern Languages and Literatures, where we teach Spanish, Latin, and Chinese. Um, in Spanish class, we do something called the Total Immersion Approach. That means that after two weeks of studying some of the basics, we will all be listening, reading, speaking, and writing in Spanish, and only Spanish. Obviously, once in a while, entre parentheses, uh, we will speak some English. But generally, we try to immerse ourselves in the language and the culture. So we do a lot of cultural studies as well. And I think Chinese is very similar in that way. Um, both classes use the total immersion approach um, at a different pace. Uh, now my colleague, um, Professor Shannon Leslie, will talk to you about Latin. Hi, my name is Shannon Leslie, and I teach Latin at BSET Queens. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, language selection process. So when you come to BSET Queens as a ninth grader, how will you choose your language? So if you've taken one of these languages, or if you are a heritage speaker in one of these languages, you will um, take a placement exam. And one of our professors will grade the placement exam and put you in the correct level of the language. Um, our dean tries to give everyone the language that they want. So even if you've taken one of the languages before, you don't have to choose that language. You can choose a different language. So if you've taken Spanish through middle school and you wanna to switch to Latin or Chinese, chances are very good that you can do that. Okay, but we do um, encourage our students to take one language and only one language. In fact, it's very difficult to switch between languages once you've started a language. There just um, aren't um, enough hours in the day for people to switch languages. And we really like for students to have that consistency of the same language throughout. Um, now, about Latin in particular, we do offer four years of Latin. Uh, this year, we're only offering three because of the, the pandemic, but next year, we hope to go back to offering four years of the language. And um, in Latin, we focus really on reading fluency. So it's not as important. There aren't any Romans that we're going to speak to in person. So, uh, so we really focus on reading texts, gaining reading fluency, vocabulary, grammar, and also fun things like mythology and history that um, are culturally part of the Latin language. And so um, now I will switch off to my colleague, Katarina Kemp, who uh, will introduce herself and talk a little bit about our course progression here at BSEC Queens. Hola, me llamo Katarina Kemp, pero mis estudiantes me dicen maestra. Yo enseño español y este es mi salón de clase. Hi, I'm Katarina Kemp and I teach Spanish at BSEC Queens. So my students call me maestra, which means teacher. Uh, and this is my classroom at BSEC Queens. Uh, I'm going to share with you the course progression in the World Languages Department. Uh, so ninth and 10th grade are the equivalent of a college level beginning Spanish course or beginning Latin course or beginning Chinese course, depending on the language uh, that you choose to take with us. Uh, as I said, your choices are Spanish, Latin, and Chinese. Uh, so our beginning courses assume that you have no background in the language and we start from the very beginning. Uh, as my colleague, uh, Professor Leslie said, uh, if you do have a background in the language, you have the opportunity to take a placement exam uh, to determine what level of the course is right for you to start at. Uh, and uh, in the Spanish program, we have a Spanish honors track for all four years, which is for students who are heritage speakers or native speakers of the language, and for students who have an extensive background in studying the language. Uh, so that would be an accelerated course um, in the ninth and 10th grade program. Ninth and 10th grade are our high school program and students are required to take two years of the language in the high school program. Uh, after ninth and 10th grade, students move into our college program, year one and year two. In the college program, students have a choice. 
uh, they have to take two semesters of a language uh, or culture course, um, and they can continue with the language they started in our high school program, or uh, they can choose to take a language and culture course in English, or uh, every other year we uh, typically offer a two semester Arabic course progression that students can choose to take as well. Of course, our goal is for students to take their language all four years um, and walk out of our world languages program with an intermediate or higher fluency uh, in the language of their choice. Uh, so year one uh, is intermediate, uh, an intermediate level course in Spanish, Latin or Chinese. Um, and then um, for uh, the honors track in Spanish, it's a little different. They finish the intermediate track in the first semester of year one and can take reading literature in Spanish in the second semester, which is a survey course, an introduction to uh, literature in the Spanish speaking world. Um, and then year two, uh, the tracks diverge a bit depending on the language. Uh, so in Chinese, students would continue with intermediate Chinese three and four. In Latin, students would take Intermediate Latin three, uh, and then reading literature in Latin. Um, and for our Spanish students, um, if they're in the honors track, they would have the option of taking a literature elective in Spanish, which is a seminar style course um, each semester of year two. Uh, and if they are finishing Intermediate Spanish in year one, they would take reading literature in Spanish in the fall of year two, and then a literature elective in the spring of year two. Uh, if a student chooses not to continue with their language studies, uh, they can take a variety of courses in translation, uh, inclusion, including Asian film, Latin American history, uh, and many other courses that would meet that requirement. Uh, so uh, our language program, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication on the part of the students, both in the classroom and at home, where we do expect them to invest a lot of time in studying. Uh, to memorize vocabulary and grammar, to practice concepts, uh, so that they can go from saying hello in their new language in ninth grade to reading in that target language by year two. Uh, the growth is tremendous, uh, and we are very proud of our students, and they're very proud of themselves for the language fluency that they achieve, uh, first in the high school program and then in the college program as well. Thank you very much for listening, and we hope to see you at BSEC Queens in the fall. Goodbye.